Now, Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. And let's check out that evening forecast. We expect to see the clouds are in the process of breaking up a little bit. So we'll have partly cloudy skies for a little while and then get back to mostly cloudy skies again later. Uh, it's 29 degrees tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock with 37 degrees at noon. Cloudy skies and then rain developing tomorrow afternoon. And especially north of I-70 could transition over to some uh, sleet and uh, maybe even a little wet snow in the far northern part of our viewing area up toward Mercer, Auglaize, Logan counties. Weather headlines, clouds break a little bit around the area tonight. Then we'll see that rain developing Thursday afternoon at mix north of I-70 and then a transition back over to all snow as we get to Wednesday night and into Thursday. So look for some rain Wednesday afternoon with that mix north. We'll put the winter weather index at low. As I mentioned there, it'll be making that change over to snow. And because of that, winter weather advisory in effect mainly north of I-70, uh, Wayne County, Indiana, and then up to dark Miami over to Champaign counties all northward. Uh, that's where the advisory will be in effect with a little more substantial uh, snow and some sleet accumulations. Our forecast here as we head through uh, tomorrow, you can see those totals getting up there uh, into the evening and overnight uh, up to four inches perhaps up in northwest sections of Ohio. Uh, anywhere from three to uh, six inches of snow possible here. More on the low end and then down our way you can see about an inch and a half around the Dayton area. So about one to two inches south of I-70 through Thursday morning, Thursday midday and uh, farther north we could be looking at some of those heavier totals more like about two to four inches and as you head south Butler, Warren, Clinton counties you're not going to see much uh, at all in the way of any kind of snowfall. Low temperatures tonight, upper 20s expected tomorrow afternoon, getting into the upper 30s, although cooling off once that precipitation gets underway. And then Thursday morning, cold enough, you may have to deal with some snow and ice on the area roadways as we'll be around 30 degrees. Brian, heating and cooling systems camera. Watch, you'll see some sunshine, some blue skies out there. Some breaks in the overcast, at least right now, all clear on live Doppler 2 HD. You can actually see some of those clouds thinning out a little bit across across Indiana and Ohio, and that'll be the pattern at least early tonight, but thicker clouds coming up from the southwest along with rain pushing into southern Oklahoma, and that'll all be headed our way for tomorrow afternoon. Right now in Dayton, 37, we have west wind at 13 miles per hour, making it feel like 29. Our weather checkers calling in with 30s to the north, around 40 to the south. Bill Tellsrow out in Greene County, 40. Also uh, in Kettering, uh, Barbara Richards reporting 40 degrees, and Gary Rustin Camden also at 40, but Tom Wyckoff in Springfield 38, Jason Thompson, Brookville 37. Future track forecast map, those clouds break a little bit tonight, but watch them roll back in tomorrow morning, and then here comes that rain tomorrow afternoon, and then the initial onset of rain may go over to a little sleet, especially north of I-70 and perhaps some snow farther north. We'll see everybody transition, I think, to some rain tomorrow evening, and then that transition goes back the other way later at night and into Thursday. So Thursday morning, we should be cold enough. Everybody looking at some snow. Partly to mostly cloudy tonight, down to 28 degrees. We'll see that rain tomorrow afternoon. Could be a mix north of I-70, 38 degrees. Expected for that high, a southeast wind 5 to 10. 34, 10 o'clock, 37 at noon. And then that precipitation becoming likely in the afternoon. 35 on Thursday with snow showers. We'll see a slight chance of flurries Friday and cold. Lows 10 to 15, highs in the 20s, teens again Saturday morning, but then upper 30s. And we're back into the 40s for President's Day and Tuesday, along with a chance of some rain. But